Hi everyone, this is Min Kang Hui and Yi Chen Liu. Our project is about Mandarin speech recognition on the Tet Lium recipe. What is our task? Our task is to develop a Mandarin automatic speech recognition system based on the Tet Lium recipe. So we're going to alter the Tet Lium to fit the ASL2 dataset. And we're going to compare the results of current Mandarin ASR, the ASL2, and the Tetlium recipe we've ordered. Finally, we're going to explore the result of adding pitch and comparing them with, you know, to not adding them. So let's see the difference between the ASL2 and the Tetlium recipe. You can see that Tetlium recipe is much more complicated since it contains a train set process and it also contains the cleanup segmentation process. Well, in the Tetlium process, we also discarded the RNN language model part, and so both of them will end in the run TDNN. What we have done is that we first we like we modified the dataset of ASL2. We take a subset of the training data, since we take like one over ten of the utterance of the whole ASL2 data. And then we modify the Tetlium S5 R3 recipe and the ASL2 S5 recipe. So in this case, we create four experiments. The first one is that we run the ASL2, but we train our monophone on 1,000 data by using the subsetting uh, configurations. And in the second experiment, we run the Tetlium using the ASL2 data. And this time, we also subset for 10,000 data on the tree mono process. And in the next uh, experiment, we run the Tetlium recipe using the ASL2 data, but we change the MFCC part. In this case, we add the pitch to MFCC. And the tree mono also using the like 10,000 data. And in the final experiments, we other, all of them are, are the same, but the MFCC are not with speech, and the tree mono is used only 10 data. So here's the result we've got, we have so far. The experiment, experiment two is still running, so we hope that it might got better result than run three. Uh, what is weird is that we could see that actually we got better result on or altered Tetlium rather than original AHL2 recipe. And we could also see the impact of the amount of data by comparing to the original AHL2 and you know the paper's result, we could say that uh, the amount of data could affect most on the TDN accuracy rather than other models, and we could also see that um, in the run one, run four, and run four, all of them have basically the same accuracy at last, but. Well, in the middle stages, they may, might have some different values, and we could see that the cleanup uh, pr process might have a great effect to the accuracy since the run one do not have them in the ASL2. So basically, that's all we have done so far, and thank you for watching.